Hey everybody, this is a quick and dirty walkthrough of a setup and how to get your Rockman 3 key keyboard working as a MIDI keyboard. Uh, I say quick and dirty because I'm going to run through the, the major things that is good to show you on video and I'll go into detail on my blog. you find that in the uh, description of this video and you can go read that. I'll go into what all these buttons do and, and more specifics as to what I'm using. I just want to show you a really just simple rundown of how this works. Okay, so what you're going to need is obviously your keyboard with batteries in it because you have no power option. A MIDI cable, preferably a MIDI to USB cable. In my case, there were none for sale nearby and I didn't feel like waiting a week or more to get one in that's ordered. So I bought a MIDI cable, three euros, really cheap. And this baby, expensive, nice, does way more than I need it to do because I'm really just looking for simple piano play. Um, 58 euros and it comes with no software which is my biggest complaint other than the driver. So what you're going to need to do to set this up is you need to plug one end of your cable into the MIDI in on the channel one, the MIDI one there see this is of course after you've installed drivers for your device if you have just a uh, MIDI to USB cable I think you won't really need any drivers but I'm not sure if it comes with them you need to uh, install those first before you start plugging everything in Okay. the other end of your MIDI cable into the port here on the keyboard let me see it's not easy to figure out which way it goes in when you're looking at it from this angle because there's no identifying marks here. Uh, and the other end, of course, into your computer. Simple, simple. No comments about all the junk in my room. I know. My room is a mess. My desk is a mess and everything is a mess. Okay, that baby's in. Computer says doo doo. Uh, Alright launch our software which I have links for in my blog where you can get this free really simple easy to use software and I tell you that I spent hours looking for such a thing so you will be happy to see this all in one place because this was the one thing I really could not find turn this on mine takes a while because battery's low red light means we're good red light we're good if I push something on the keys it lights up here it's red we're good okay let's see I hate to show you my computer screen because this really sucks, but I'm going to change the sound of my uh, instrument here to synth piano. Soft piano one is good enough for what I want to do. Okay, turn this thing up. Turn up my speakers so you can hear. And just so. Uh, oh my god, that's too loud. <laughs> Okay, maybe not that loud. Again, that's a bit loud. Okay, you notice that I'm pushing here? There it goes. If you want to change octave on the Xbox 360, you use the B and the X buttons. B changes octave up, X goes octave down. Thing is that these LEDs are supposed to light up to show you the octave change. And I've noticed that they don't, or at least not in my case, maybe mine's broken. But if I push, they light up, and then they go back to one. I don't know what it means, but the octave has changed. And go up again. Ah. Okay, let's go down some. You basically, you're going to have to remember which octave you were on when you move up and down since the lights don't show you much more than that. With the octave shifting, you can go really unnaturally high. So you notice I've gone really high and it's where you almost can't hear it because it's so high that you can barely hear. Maybe some of you can't even hear it, but I hear it. Um, so you kind of got to guess where you are. It works better by ear.
Yeah, don't say anything about my fingers. I I never claimed I knew how to play piano, so I don't want to. I don't even want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. If you go too far, though, I've noticed if you go too far with the octave change, you actually get to the point where the keys don't respond to you because, well, there's no sound to play. So that's always a tricky part. I don't think that it starts at uh, when you plug it in and you get everything started, or at least not with this software. It doesn't start at uh, C3, which is, um, well, this isn't. There it is. So you have to find it pretty much by ear, um, unless your software is more fancy, but this free one is not so fancy, but it does the job. There are some more things that the, the overdrive button is pitch bend, I believe, and this touch thing here does something that I don't remember, because again, I am a musical noob, and this is why I'm doing this video. Um, if you want to know what all these buttons do, they'll be in my blog. Uh, the PS3 buttons have slightly different, as I said, but they'll be also in my blog. But basically, that's what you need to get everything working, and we're good. Um, so yes, link to my blog, check it out, you'll find the software. The software is free, uh, and it is very difficult to find MIDI software that is free, that will do live playback and not just recording. Because I've tried Guitar Pro 6, and that will take note of the notes that I push. I can create a score, but it does not play at the same time. So, alright, well, I'll check that out, and I hope it helps a little bit. I really don't understand why those lights don't work, you know, but lots of things in Rock Band 3 aren't working, I guess. So what can we expect? Anyway.